Hey everyone, I welcome you all to another session by Simply Learn. In this session, we will learn about ASP.NET Web APIs. Let's look at what's in it for you in this session. In this session, we shall begin with understanding what are Web APIs, followed by which we will look at some of the examples of Web APIs. Proceeding further, we will see the key features of Web APIs. Finally, we have a demo wherein we will create a Web API project. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. Watch the video till the end so that you don't miss on the demo. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. What are Web APIs? The ASP.NET Web API is a framework for creating HTTP-based services that can be used in a variety of applications on a variety of platforms such as web, games, windows, and mobile. On the .NET framework, ASP.NET Web API is an excellent foundation for developing RESTful apps. Some of the examples of Web API are Microsoft Graph. Microsoft Graph is a collection of APIs that gives us information back out of our Microsoft account. Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps, we can get information about DevOps pipeline using the Azure DevOps API. Cognitive Services. We can use Cognitive Services if we are interested in adding machine learning. PlayFab. PlayFab is a set of APIs for games. Features of Web APIs The ASP.NET Web API platform is suitable for creating RESTful services. The ASP.NET Web API is based on ASP.NET and uses ASP.NET Request Response Pipeline. HTTP Hypertext Transfer Protocol verbs are mapped to method names in the ASP.NET Web API. Web API can be hosted on IIS or any other web server that supports .NET version 4.0 and more. ASP.NET Web API supports different data types like .json, XML and many other formats that are supported natively. To interface with Web API server, the ASP.NET Web API framework contains a new HTTP client. HTTP client can be used in ASP.NET and MVC server-side applications. Now let us look at the demo. In this demo, we will create a web API project. First, let's go to Visual Studio. Launch the Visual Studio. Create a new project. Scroll down and search for ASP.NET Core Web API. This project template is used for creating an ASP.NET Core application with an example controller for a RESTful HTTP service. So select this template and click on Next. Provide the project name. Since we are showing a demo, I will name it as Demo Web API. Click on next and click on create. So here you can see the project is successfully created. On the right hand side, if you can see, we have startup and program.cs file. If you notice here in controllers, we have weather forecast controller.cs. Open this. In this, we have a single get method. This method receives request for weather data and returns some response. If you also notice here, we have weather forecast.cs. Open this. In this, we have the class weather forecast. The function of this class is to form the structure of information that we want to return from our API. So let's go ahead and run this. Click on this green arrow mark and run. The build has started.
So running on the local host. This is the output. It shows the date and the temperature in Celsius and the temperature in Fahrenheit and the summary. So with that, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you liked the video. Please like and share it if you found it interesting. Thank you for being here. Keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.